Hi guys, how are ya? I'm Megan. I'm Gianna. And we are PLL Freaks 13. 13. Alright, here we go. We're gonna talk about tonight's episode. It's gonna be a uh, season four, episode three recap. Cat's cradle. Um I don't know. Not not a lot happened tonight's episode. I was kinda disappointed. Um I mean I know every episode can't be like amazing, but I just feel like um not really much happened. I don't know. It was just alright. What do you think? It was yeah, alright. It was alright. It wasn't great. Um, we're just going to go over uh, some things that happened. Maybe some things that we uh, we think is going to come from it. So, Okay. Um, first thing that uh, really that we noticed that was said. Um, Melissa... They're in the, I think it's the coffee house, right? It's the coffee house, right? Yeah, they're in the coffee house, and um, Melissa is talking to Spencer, and Spencer's like, oh, you know, that's great. You're getting an internship uh, at London. How convenient, you know? In London, uh, how convenient, or Sacramento or something like that. There was, like, two different places, right? Yeah. San Francisco, Sacramento, whatever. And uh, Melissa says to her, it might be time for the both of us to get out of this town if we know what's good for us. I don't know um, if maybe she's thinking that, uh, maybe, maybe uh, we are correct in saying that Melissa might be targeted by A also. Um, maybe, I don't know, dude, because a lot of stuff was happening in that episode, like, where it kind of made, like, they, they just keep making Melissa look so suspicious, and I'm really sick of do. it. I'm really sick of it. Like, either she is or she isn't, but, I mean, they're just throwing her out there more than throw they throw anybody else out there. Here. Yeah. Um, what else happened? Aria. Yeah. Aria said that less than a year is a long time to be away from someone. Um, it's kind of creepy, the way yeah, it, it, it Yeah, the said. way it was said. Um, kind of almost like, um, was she talking just about her mom, like, about her mom and her, uh, being away from him? Or was it kind of like, you know, things change in less than a year? Uh, she left the girls for a year. She went to Iceland. Did she feel the same way about the girls when she came back? Um, Allison was gone for a year. Um, it could mean really anything. Um, then we, we know, uh, Dr. Palmer was uh toby's mom mom's doctor mm. is that a real freaking name we don't know is there even a dr palmer anymore is it kingston is it mr wren might be is he also dr vargas who knows well Whatever. we saw dr vargas oh yes we did yeah we saw dr vargas but um <laughs> toby thinks that a is a she which kind of makes me believe like almost like opposite do you know what I mean? Like, kind of like they're throwing that out there, like, oh, yeah, well, she, she kind of, A, kind of acts like a she, don't you think? But, I mean, that kind of could be like a red herring, you know what I mean? Um, we learned that Ashley's mom said she was at the musical on Friday night. Uh, so we know she did go to New York, but she came home early. Um, she told her coworkers she didn't feel good because they sent her the flower saying, like, Hope you're feeling better. Sorry you missed a great show. So we know she didn't go to the Actually, show. Actually, what they said was the show was a dud and she didn't really oh, miss yeah. anything. Oh, yeah. That, whatever. That's what she did. Whatever. Yeah, you can see how freaking observant I am. That's why I have to write shit down because I, I don't catch up on anything. Um, she said, uh, so Ashley, uh, so Hannah gets pissed. Like, why are you lying to me? You know what I mean? Like, Hannah finds out. Why are you lying to me? Whatever. Mm -hmm. Um, shit's gone down with Emily and her mom. Uh, she's got child services coming after her now, uh, family services, because she grabbed Emily in the courtyard at school, uh, by her arm. Now A's making her a target, looking, making it look like, uh, she's beating her kid and all this stuff, which, I mean, if you look at Pam, she's this big, and if you look at Emily, she's a freaking swimmer, she's big, she's huge, you know what I mean? Like, mm. not huge, I don't mean like that, I just mean she's tall and she's muscular. She's muscular, yep. Um, 
what else? Uh, then Hannah get. I mean, Arya gets a text. About cleaning up Rosewood one mom at a time. Yeah, cleaning up Rosewood one mom at a time kisses, kisses a. a. Which kind of makes me wonder, why was it only Arya that got the text? Why didn't Spencer get the text, too? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, okay, A is going after Pam and going after Hannah's mom. But if she was going to send, if A was going to send a text out like that, why wouldn't she send it to both Spencer and Arya? Because right. both of their moms ha haven't really been affected yet. And Spencer's mom has actually, I mean, Arya's parents have been targeted before about the whole Ezra thing and mm -hmm. about telling uh, Arya's mom about Meredith and, you know, now you have Hannah's mom being targeted and everything. The only mom that has not been targeted is, uh, the, the, yeah, Spencer's mom. Spencer's parents are the only ones not targeted so far. So I don't know. Um, you had the suspect board, which if you saw last week, we posted those, uh, pictures. We took pictures and, and we posted the suspect board. Nothing so new kinda there. So kind of right. It wasn't anything new there, really. Yeah, nothing new, new there. Um, what else? Melissa talking to the cops about Wilden. Was she talking to the cops about Wilden? Because why, why is it that, uh, out of all the people on the suspect board, why is Melissa called in first? Um, because we know she's not the top, she's not the top suspect for Wilden's case, and we know she's not the least suspect, so, what, are they working from the middle? You know what I mean? Something's up there, something's weird. Um, why is Hannah's dad acting like an idiot to Caleb? Like, why is he acting like he doesn't give a shit? Because, I mean, now we know that he hasn't been the best father figure to date, but in previous episodes like he still you could tell he really does care about hannah you know what i mean he even though he's a not a great father he's he, he you know what he's not a great dad but he's a good father do you know what i mean like he cares about right hannah. right i mean he's not there for her but i i don't see like something's up with that something suspicious with that um is it a possibility that maybe you know well, well, more could have went down yeah um like Kind of like, almost like he knew that Ashley had something to do with what went on that night. Uh, like he was hiding something. Um, now, was, are they seeing each other again? And that's kind of what's going on? Uh, is he cheating on his wife with his ex-wife? Is that what's going on? And that's why, I just don't see that really affecting Ashley that much. I don't see her being like scared and like, letting faucet letting hot bath like baths run and stuff just staring yeah, at it like a crazy so bizarre, person wasn't like, it? like yeah what was in that bathtub was there anything in that bathtub no you don't know because they never really showed it they just showed the running water so um then you have Allie uh, in the whole mask situation that dude was super he creepy. got those eyebrows that are like real creepy they're like shaped yeah. up and v's he and stuff was... there's he was a creeper. He gave me the heebie-jeebies. Yeah, he, he was, was a creep. not, like... And they said Allie's face... I really don't care. <laughs> he, um... Allie, uh, he said that Allie was perfect for Joan of Arc. Uh, and also that Allie wanted those masks made... So that her so friends her, could look like her. So her friends could look like her. That's weird. It's very weird. Um, he, he then said that Allie was perfect. Uh, you know, then the, that's immortality. You know what I mean? That whole, that whole thing there. Uh, like, I, I don't, I don't even know. I, this episode was just, like, confusing. Like, it, it wasn't confusing to the point where you're like, oh my god, I can't wait to find out. It was just, like, confusing. Yeah. Like, you were just like, what? Like, what does what that happened? have to do with yeah. anything? You know what I mean? Then, um, they, he said that, uh, wait. Oh, Melissa's face was also copied, which I called that. I knew it was going to happen. She did, too. Like I was like, watch minutes, it be Melissa's yeah. face. Watch it. Five minutes before. Yep. Um, now, that leaves question. Did Mona think that it was Melissa that was the Queen of Hearts? And, and somebody had Melissa's mask on? Face, yeah. That's something to think about. Mm -hmm. uh, did Mona truly think it was her? Because it was from a side view. Um, I mean... Uh, I mean, in real life, we'd be able to tell the, the a mask from a face apart, but, <laughs> I mean, anything's possible in Rosewood. I don't know. Uh-huh. Um, Ashley's dad, uh, I, yeah, I don't know why, I see, keep saying Ashley because Ashley Benson, <laughs> yeah. but, okay, Hannah's dad, yeah, 
Hannah's dad uh, says that Ashley came to the house around 9 o'clock. He talked to her. She needed money. Um, he didn't have it. And, you know, by the time he, he came back, she was gone. Yeah, Isabel called him. He had to do something for her. And then, and she, then she was gone. She was gone. And his, and his gun, gun was, was missing. missing. Okay. Okay. Anyway. We know Wilden was shot, but... He said that. Yes. Yes. She was declared a martyr. Joan of, Joan of Arc was declared a martyr. It's like a, like a, a hero almost, right? Somebody, a martyr, that, someone somebody that you that look up died to for, for a good reason. For their reason. Right. Yeah, some, right. somebody that does things for other people. Selfless. Selfless. And like kind of like a saint almost. You know what I mean? Um, okay. We posted a video like 10 minutes before the episode about Ren. Now we here we come to find out that Melissa went to high school with Wilden. Okay, so if Melissa went to high school with Wilden, and we know that Melissa and Ren are the same age, did, was Ren in fact, involved with Wilden, was Ren, Wilden, Ezra, they're all the same age, Jason, did all these people know each other? Like, what is going on? Like, I'm so freaking confused about that. Like, I don't even understand. And then the ending, like, you normally have, like, the ending, you know, when, like, black gloves are out, and you're like, oh my god, it's so exciting, like, oh my god. What was that ending about? That didn't make any sense. The hip bones connected to the leg bone. Yeah, and the shoulder bones connected to... Dem Bones is the name of that song. Dem Bones, and it was a Decca album. Decca meaning classical music. Yeah, classical music. Who do we know that likes classical music? Aria. Ding, ding, ding. Um, But, like, okay, we know our... We know Emily's shoulders hurt. Right. So is it... like, what's the big secret? Is it did he st- did A steal the X ray that showed that her shoulder was broken? Like they can't take another X ray? Like yeah, <laughs> it's just something. I don't know. That, that was just bizarre. I, I'm confusing. sure we'll maybe we'll find out next week or three seasons from now. Who knows? Yeah, who but. knows? Um, we saw the preview for next week's episode. <laughs> I mean, they're so goddamn quick. Like you really you can't even like it's like what 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 what. So, um, we're going to watch the, uh, the preview for it. We'll take the, the stills, like, we'll take screenshots and everything like that, and we'll post it. The only thing I really got out of it is, uh, I think the cops are at Emily's house, which probably has to do with, with the family services thing. The family services thing. A calling it on scares her. me that Emily's dad is coming back to town. It really does. Did I or did I not say something from the beginning? Something's going to happen with Emily's dad. Something is going to happen. I honestly think that Emily's dad is going to die. Megan's been saying since probably about season two that Emily's dad that is going to die. That something's going to happen to Emily's dad. And I think that, because remember when Pam was, uh, she tweeted, uh, you know, it's a sad day in Rosewood and I've been crying all day. And poor Pam was mentioned also. Yes. Poor Pam. Why, o- over Wilden? Because she wasn't crying at Wilden's funeral. We saw her. She wasn't crying at Wilton's funeral. Does she get arrested, do you think, for the family services thing? Who knows? But you, I don't think you can get arrested for family services. You just get your kids taken off you. You could get arrested. You could definitely get arrested for child abuse. Well, child abuse, yeah. But you would have to have your kid testify. You would have to have your kid testify well, against you right. and to get arrested. That's why they're saying that, you know, it's like a... What was the word she used? That it was like an... Like an ongoing thing where she has the bruise on her shoulder and her ulcer and... Yeah. How creepy was that, too, when uh, Eight sent her the text of uh, Pam behind bars, a picture of Pam, and then there was bars in front of it, and then she comes in to talk to her and her face is all in black, like you can't even see her face. Like, how creepy was that? Yeah. Like, you couldn't even see her face. Like, that was just weird, like the way that they had the lighting set up and everything, but... I don't know. We'll All right. See. I guess that's probably it for now. Yep. All right, guys. Until like us, later. Comment. Do whatever. That was that was pretty much it. Bad episode. Not that great. So. All yes. right, guys. See ya.